Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. I came across something the other day that it kind of shattered my reality for a minute. Look, Jonas, I swear to God I was going to put it back. <laughs> so. You're not talking about. Oh, it, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 no, ahead, no, no so, go, go, go. So we've all heard the joke. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Yes. Right? There are many variations of it, but this is the most canonical. Yes. And the, how, how do you interpret that joke? Um, it, it is, it's a subversion of a joke because the correct answer or the punchline is actually just the most obvious of the answers. It's, so it's a, it's a good joke. It's a good joke. That he it's was just trying to cross the street. Yeah, right? honestly, if I were like brand new to that joke if i'd never heard it like a billion times throughout my lifetime i'd be like that's a quality joke i yes was online uh-huh. and someone put another interpretation out there and i don't know how to feel about it okay. so what is another term to die for the other side so the, the chicken chick- was suicidal why did the chicken cross the road to wow. get to the other side okay okay and i was like my head was just like Boom. I was like, I did never in all of my years on this planet did I think of it that way. And I was like, man. Oh, so it's, a, it's some existential stuff. Like It's an existential joke. Like this chicken was going through some problems. This, this chicken was dealing with depression. Yeah. This, chicken, this, yeah. Chicken, this, Bruh. Ch- this chicken's wife just left him. You know? His dog died. Kids don't lost his job. Kids don't respect I him. I don't know. I'm sorry, chicks don't yeah, respect yeah, him. Yeah, his chicks don't respect him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But all I know is I'll never look at that joke the same. Fair the, enough. The rest of my life. Fair enough. Fair enough. Not that I think about the chicken joke very often. Yeah. And that's the thing about that joke is that it, it is so simple that it can take on I feel like uh more interpretation. Like the more nuance and the more specifics that you put onto a joke you can't you can't uh you can't change the meaning of it like that you can't decipher or dictate the meaning of it so the fact that it is so simple to get to the other side huh okay what does that mean what right does that mean yeah you know that what sounds like that somebody mean? who like was all effed up and was like the other side, bro. Right. The other side is not about the road, bro. It's about. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I hit you with this one, my man. I'll hit you with this one. All right, let's go. Uh, modern day poet laureate, sexy red, oh, says okay. that she is uh she's out of town, thugging with my rounds, coochie pink, my booty hole brown. <laughs> now, one might think is that this young lady's just being crass, right? I mean, it sounds crass. It sounds pretty crass, but she said she's- At face value. (laughs) Face value, yes. Sounds like she's being a very naughty person. Yes, it sounds like she's just saying a bunch of profane words in a string in order to make a rhyme scheme. But that's not it, Jonas. It's not. No, no, no. When you look at it, out of town, where is she at? She's out of town. She's not home. She's not. No, she doesn't. She can't be home. She's got things to do. Okay. She's, She's th- a busy business woman. You're goddamn right. She okay. says, thugging with my rounds. R-O-U-N-D-S. Hmm. Oh, she's got a gat. Boom. She's so, out of town with her gat. She's out of, well, I wouldn't call it a gat. <laughs> We're going to call it a gun. Okay. She's out of town with a gun and ammo. Okay. Because she's thugging. So that means she's got stuff to do. Okay. What is the definition of what's, what's, what's thugging? What is she doing with I those mean, rounds? Th- thugging just means kind of like handling business. Taking okay. care of hustler, hustler activities. Okay. All right. You know, whatever. Could be a can- variety of things. Yes. It could be, you know, you need to. Uh, it's a blanket term. Exactly. A blanket okay. term for a, I'm I'm a doing things activities. with my gun, not at home yes. is essentially what she's saying. Under the umbrella of thugging. Okay. Okay. Right. I and get then, it. And then we get to oh my god bon appetit my coochie pink my booty hole brown now i don't i don't i don't now (laughs) what could miss red now i i I tell you all to go and listen to this song at least the first 30 seconds of pound town by 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 sexy red what does she mean jonas what does she mean when she says out of town, thugging with my rounds, a coochie pink, my booty hole brown. What does she mean by coochie pink, my booty hole brown? What is she telling you? What is she telling you? That she's just a regular girl. God damn it, Jonas, you're right. 
I'm just a regular woman out here thugging. She is normal. She's like anybody else. I don't know if your booty hole's brown. (laughs) I've never seen it. But in my mind, I think that it might be like a a shade darker. Is it a problem? (laughs) Is she got a problem? I don't know if like, I don't know if that's true. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. You know, it's. Hmm. (laughs) I don't. Now we're in another our own existential crisis. That's very true because look, I can guarantee you that my booty hole is brown. Is she dirty though? What is it is it brown because dirty? it's dirty? No, it's it's brown because she's black. Mine is brown because I'm black. And now that I think about it, I don't know. I'm not gonna ask to see it, but if you want to go and inspect your own booty hole to tell me if it meets the qualifications of of Miss Red. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's it's just that it's like the darker skin tones. Some shades of the body are different colors of other things, like like uh, like nipples and things like that. Like a, like a white girl to a black girl to a Hispanic girl. There's different shades of like nipple tone. Yes. So I wonder if like yes. that that soft material is the same across the the borders i'd imagine that propensity like you know like uh look jonas look come on we've we've dated some we've dated some heavier women in our day you know how like their legs rub together get the dark areas in their legs okay i imagine that you're gonna get similar with your with 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 one's booty hole (laughs) now i've never looked at my own booty hole all right i can't say that i've i've procured my but mind. I can guarantee you that it's brown. All right. Okay. I, I mean, know I'm this in my heart. Of, like if I were to, you could tell me that it was turquoise, and I would be like, sold, bruh. No. I if would... I if I go and look in the mirror and I turn around, I have a big turquoise sea foam green anus po- poking back at me in the mirror, Jonas. <laughs> it's gonna blow my mind. I'm not gonna doubt you or even call your bluff if you tried to tell me it was true. Like, what if to this day you didn't know that you had like a big yellow a hole jones how would that feel like you get in there and you look i mean the it it serves its purpose regardless right so (laughs) no 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 if i if it's a whole different color if i got a big bright yellow north star chilling in the back of my ass that i need to know (laughs) i need to know yeah well i mean it'd be the same if like if like my tongue was green no. It still serves its purpose. Because you get to see your tongue. Like I've never I've never like inspected my own I don't know. Like I I'm not about inspecting that I, mean, I don't need to. This has went so much deeper than I ever <laughs> thought it would go. <laughs> I don't know. We started talking about jokes. Now we're talking about Big Red's deep ass <laughs> lyrics. I'm sorry, please. I mean please put us back on track, man. <laughs> I think. She's just out of town and saying, I'm a regular lady. Okay. Why don't you come over and help me out? And 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 there, you know what? That's the hip hop genius for Pound Town by Sexy Red. Man. There you go. There you go. It's the second coming of Shakespeare right there. I, honestly, man, I agree with All you. All she had to do was put it in iambic pentameter and <laughs> it would have been. And it would have been. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Shakespeare's rolling over in his grave. Like, I wish I could have came up with. <laughs> He's. I, you don't know what mine looking like right, right now. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how how Big Red came up with that. Big Red. <laughs> is that her name? Sexy Red. Sexy Red. Right. Oh, Big Red's the gum, right? It is the gum. <laughs> yes. Do 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 do. Take it. What's it? Also, what they tend to call tall gingers. Is that true? Always. What's going on, Big Red? We didn't ever call the one we knew Big Red. <laughs> Did we know one? They had different nicknames. Yeah, I mean, I never know. call. I never, I never try to use a nickname for someone that is like specific to their body. Like, I never call like if they're like What's if they're a large tits? person, I don't go, "Hey, big guy," or like if you got red head, it's like, oh, "Hey, no. red." I never, I don't try to nah. do that because most people are very sensitive to that. Nah. And coming up with a nickname that doesn't follow that that n- nomenclature, for lack of a better word. I feel is like if you get it, if like you're a redhead and somebody's always calling you red or da da da, and somebody's just like. What up, J Town? And they're like, "Oh my God, you're yeah. not using my redness as yeah. an identity." Yeah, I mean, I, I'd imagine that would get tiring, but that's that's why it's probably more common. Yeah, people are really unoriginal. <laughs> but sexy red. There's a story. Artiste. There's a story about Will Chamberlain, and uh, he was in the elevator with a bunch of guys, and then another guy gets on a fan gets on the uh, on the elevator, and he says, "Oh, hey, Wilt." Uh, how's the weather up there? And Will Chamberlain spits on him, <laughs> and he says it's raining. <laughs> I 
I imagine that he got told that joke a little too much at that point. Yeah. Kind of a D-head move, but, you I know. I mean, spitting on someone and ever is not okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, in a public setting, yeah. spitting on someone is, like, probably one of the worst things you can do to yeah, a person. Apparently, he was an a-hole. And, that, and I'm not even 100% if it was Will Chamberlain, but it sounds like a Will Chamberlain thing to do. So, we're going to put it all on Wilt. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay with that. Yeah, take it. Suck it, Wilt. Wow. <laughs> Speaking about a dead man like that. Is he dead? Yeah, I mean, I don't think so. I don't think he's alive anymore. What would I you, mean, before we go, we are about out of time. Why would you make me tell that story if he's dead, dude? You let me do I canceled myself? You just one? canceled yourself. Yeah, he, oh yeah, he died in 1999, oh, bro. Oh, okay, it's long enough. He's, he's been fine. gone like 25 years, yeah, so. Yeah, it's fine. It's, yeah. a good, it's a good story to tell, then. All right. <laughs> Great story. Uh, go to thecrazytown.com because we're out of time. For Jonas. Suck it, Wilt. <laughs> <laughs> TNT. Oh, we out.